Rome's Pantheon, or what it would have looked like 500 years ago. Welcome to the third installment of hit video game Assassin's Creed. The hero, Isio Auditori, takes the player back to the city of Rome during the Italian Renaissance. Back to a world of corrupt politicians dominated by the Borgia family. Ezio's mission is to go back to Rome to eliminate the most powerful family at the time, the Borgia family, the father Rodrigo, also known as Pope Alexander VI, and his son Caesar Borgia, who is at the head of the Pope's army and wanted to unite the whole of Italy by waging war. Ezio is a fictional character, but other protagonists like Leonardo da Vinci or even Machiavelli come straight out of Italian history. And so does the scenery a faithful reproduction of 16th century Rome, which took years of research in collaboration with historians. The city of Rome has undergone several changes over the past five centuries. It was hard to find precise archive documents describing the roads, buildings. OK, so the main buildings did already exist, but even they've changed a lot. For example, marble was taken from the Colosseum to be used to build St. Peter's of Rome. The Colosseum, the Pantheon or Castel Sant'Angelo are key elements structuring the game. Unfortunately for Renaissance fans, history sometimes had to be tweaked to fit the game's demands. For technical purposes, the Colosseum had to be shrunk and its shape made round instead of oval. The circle perfect permet d'avoir des morceaux you can break up a circle into equal pieces, so using a circle enabled us to use just two or three pieces and repeat them like a pattern. But that's not the only out-of-place detail careful players might spot. The developers also created St. Peter's Basilica's Dome a little too early on, 50 years early to be precise. It's difficult to be picky over the other props though. The costumes, weapons and other 16th century inventions were all designed by graphic artists as exact reproductions of the times. When the game comes out in November, you can be the first ever man to employ firearms or to use the naval cannon. And that alone must meet the expectations of Assassin's Creed's fans.